What's good, YouTube? <clears throat> this your man, Spill Dog. I think uh, a couple of people get me a little twisted, like I don't like, but it ain't that. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I think Crawford got a fucked up promoter. You know, uh, I really believe that Crawford was getting, was, was, was always told that he was, well, I'm, I'm quite sure. Uh, that was the Lord against Crawford over there. I will get you to fight with Pacquiao. And Crawford was was right to wait on the Pacquiao fight. And Bob Arum shit it on him. You know, and and, and and you know, and in the meantime of not getting him that fight, it, it wasn't it was it ain't Terrence Crawford fight fault that he, the fights he had in the welterweight division is all he had. Uh I wouldn't have been fighting it didn't make no sense for him to be fighting. Uh, Keith and all these different dudes at that particular time when Errol Spence already over there taking care of that side of the street like they both said and Pacquiao was uh, Terrence was supposed to fight Pacquiao as a matter of fact he should have been fighting Pacquiao when Jeff Horn fought him and had they done that they were option Spence might even had that car had this had this happen at the time, if he'd have known he had Terrence Crawford fight on deck. Because I really believe that's the whole hold up. Uh, Bob Arum uh, not not keeping his word with uh, Terrence and getting him that uh, fight with Manny Pacquiao. And, uh, and and we are we are what we are. Had he got the fight with Pacquiao, it would have been a 50-50 split. Wouldn't be nothing to complain about. And we are... We, We'd have had the fight, or we'd have been getting the fight next somewhere around now. It'd have been about time for it, uh, but I really believe that's what the, what the whole deal was, uh, as far as why they got to the point where it's at now. And now Crawford doing whatever he can do to try to uh, get the fight. I mean, which they will get the fight, but rightfully so. Arrow should come back after a year layoff and a detached retina and fight uh, Terrence Crawford. That'll be that'll be that'll be foolish. Uh, they both serious competition, one to the other. Uh, but I don't think, you know, it's not the fighters. You know, uh, you got to understand. And for the longest, Crawford didn't come out calling out uh, Earl because he knew it didn't matter what he said. He had to fight whoever his promoter put him in the ring with. He knew that. And if he knew he got a Manny Pacquiao fight coming on deck, which is, you, you couldn't have gotten a, a fight bigger. You, you wait till you get the Manny Pacquiao fight. And then uh, try to get the, a fight in another with another promotional company. And him and Errol both had already talked about this. They had agreed to this. Uh, it's not the fighters, you know. So y'all, cash y'all need to, everybody start talking about who's scared of who and who ducking. Ain't nobody ducking. Uh, Terrence Crawford had a fucked up promoter. Errol got a little bit more freedom in his uh in his in his contract and with his with his career. And Crawford did, but at the same time, he still had to fight the guys that's on the PBC, which he got plenty of. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, you know, most of the talent is with the PBC. But clearly, Crawford and uh, Spence are the top two guys. So I really believe after this fight with Ugas, uh, somehow they'll, they'll get to fight together. But it ain't Bud's fault, and it ain't Errol's fault. It's Bob Errol's fault that we did get this fight, and, you know, he really did Terrence Crawford a big uh, injustice at the end. You know, uh, it ain't nothing that Crawford can do about that. Uh, but, you know, that's what I really believe. That's what, if we're going to point blame, that's pointing in the right direction. The blame needs to be on Bob Arum and Top Rank. But that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.